We're actually coming up to speed, um, but to be honest, there is a lot of uh, a long way to go. Mm. Uh, what you're actually seeing now is uh, just a tip of the iceberg. Mm. Uh, prior to now and in some locations, you will notice that um, banks more or less uh, have technology to support them. But what you're seeing increasingly is technology offering banking services. And that's actually directionally where the world is going. You know, supported obviously by strong product and sales. Um, uh, uh, and sales. Mm. That's the direction the world is actually moving. Um, so as people usually will say that um, bank is no longer where you go, but what you do. That's actually what technology brings to the table. I agree. Now talking about that and you know, all the innovations coming on board, you ha your bank has deployed um, the robotic process automation. Um, I'm, I'm really very empty when it comes to issues around technology. So I really want to find out what this is about. All right, thanks. Uh, I, I, a lot of people have actually asked me, that's uh, Union Bank, as you would have heard, is mm -hmm. the first bank to um, uh, introduce robotics into, uh, into banking. Mm -hmm. But you may ask, what does, what does this mean in yes. simple terms? Um, robots are simple software tools that you engage um, to simplify processes. Mm -hmm. That's actually what robots. Mm -hmm. The technolo technology behind robots mm -hmm. to simplify processes is actually robotics, robotic process automation. That's Sorry. what it is. So what does it mean? Mm -hmm. It actually automates repetitive tasks, tasks that are very repetitive. Mm -hmm. But the key thing about this piece of technology mm -hmm. is that you do not change the way you work. You don't change your infrastructure. You don't change your technology. So it's not the type people will say, we need to change this because we are doing one upgrade or something. You do not change the way you work. So this is that one perfect capsule? It is. So which means that if you have 10 or 20 people that mm -hmm. need to talk to 10 or 20 systems, what this piece of, this of technology does is that it does exactly what human beings should have done touching the machines or systems. So if you have a system where somebody would do something, it goes to another person in another system, you need to sign up for another. What it does actually is that the same things human beings would have done. This technology does that in such a speed that, it's in, that you can't imagine. So when I go to so, Union Bank today and I need to cash a check, and then that lady who's always getting up, it's not we have them, in all, <laughs> we have them in all banks, who has to get up to go talk to someone at the table behind will not be doing that anymore. No, that's not, that's not, that's not the beauty. The, okay. what, we, what this actually does mm -hmm. for you is that, and that's why I emphasized repetitive tasks, mm -hmm. tasks that are very repetitive. Right. It's not just uh, robotics, it's not the same thing as AI, artificial intelligence. So simplify it. So if, if, okay. I, if I get into the bank, I mean, what am I going to experience to ensure that this is in place? Okay, what happens today is we've started in a phased manner. Okay. We first of all ask ourselves, where do we want to start from? Mm -hmm. Where are the things that take a lot of people's time? You notice people will say bankers close late, but it's not like they're attending to customers in the night. Most of the things they do are things like you're doing reconciliation, you're fixing, you're balancing your books. A lot of those things have little or nothing to do with the customer out there. Okay. What this does for us is that we want to free up staff. Mm -hmm. We want to be people to be a little much more efficient in what they do, much more productive. When we free up staff, they will have enough time to have human interface with customers. See, today, if you go to a lot of banking halls, you hear people say, next, next. And there's no person whose name is next. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's a next customer, next customer. Mm -hmm. There's no such name. Mm -hmm. And everybody becomes like an activity for them. What we are looking for is those things that drag and delay people. If robots can do it for you, you will have enough time to go and get customers out there. As you have noticed that the population of unbanked in Nigeria is still huge. It's out, out there, over 100 million, yes. still unbanked. Somebody needs to bring them on. You've got to have interfaces to solve people's problems. You also need to look at their business needs. You can't have such time if you spend all your energy doing a lot of things that are very mundane and admin and repetitive. And one of such areas, for instance, today is um, on the um, ATM reconciliation. If you use an ATM of any bank today and for any reason you're not paid, yeah. the process for you to get your refund and get your money back is like two, three days in some instances. Mm -hmm. Now, what a typical bank today uses 
spend about two, three hours of their day doing reconciliation of their ATMs. In Union Bank, we have over 950 ATMs across 200 and over 250 branches. Mm -hmm. Now, that gives you a sense of the total time that is spent across. If a branch is using about two, three hours to reconcile their ATMs, you get a sense as to what two, three hundred branches will be spending. But on, with the robotics, the entire over 950 ATMs, over 250 branches, were able to do that under two hours. You could see the amount of time it frees up to people. Now, when you do this, you are actually in a position, before a customer is coming to complain to you that I had a challenge with my ATM in your yeah. car, you already know. All right. You're expecting the person to, because the, the exercise is there. It's not like we're investigating, we'd come for three, four days as it were. So clearly so with, this, this new, with this new process, I mean, if you want time, if you want your time saved, I guess Union Bank is the bank to go to. You've said it all. All right.